hey guys welcome to hardy cat manager in this short video i'm going to be showing you around how you can download and activate this plugin how you can get it running on your website so this is my localhost this is before the hardy cat manager so if a user comes to this site now and uh, currently i'm reloading the page let's wait for the page to be reload okay good now the page has been reloaded so once a customer comes to the site browse around the product they like and at the end they will leave the website and after they leave the site you go to your google analytics to check the page they are visiting meanwhile you can recover the people that has come to your website and leave the cards at the same time so that is the reason why i created this plugin that will help you um get their email and not just getting their email it will help you track the page the visit and what is in their cart that is the main um, focus of this plugin okay so let's to get started with now let's me first of all go to the admin dashboard so i'll go to the admin dashboard so at, my, at the admin dashboard area i'm going to navigate to my plugin sections so i'm currently in my plugin sections so in this section i'm going to click on add new plugin so when you click on add new plugin so you're going to wait for the page to load up okay so now we have the page here so i'm going to search for add uh, space cards yes add uh, space card is enough so that should bring up the results okay so now we have added uh, cart manager so the next thing you need to do is to click on install so you wait for the installation to be completed you wait for the installation to be completed okay it's still installing so let's hold on okay now it has been installed the next thing i need to do is to activate so i've clicked on that now it's loading it's loading okay okay good so um the page load up now so here i have adicat manager so once you install this adicat manager the next thing you are going to find is this um link this navigation bar cart manager you're going to have this cart manager link immediately so if i click on cart manager link it's going to take me down to where i have my data at the moment these are my previous data while i'm developing this project so i built this project in the way whereby if you understood the um plugin you will still have your data maybe you try to fix some bug you take out the plugin and bring back the plugin so to avoid loss of data i preserve the data in your database so in the future you can still go back to it and see what users are currently using okay so this is this is my old data now let me add a new data to it so to do that uh we leave this page open and i will open this same url in a new browser so let's see what is um let's see what the plugin we had to our site don't forget this is the previous um view of my website at this moment we don't have any pop-up shown to us to uh, input anything so if i refresh this page now after a cart manager has been installed if i refresh this page now we are going to have a new pop-up that will be asking the user hey guy input your email so we can help you with your cards in case they have any issues somewhere maybe the link is not clicking so as you can see we have what let's help you around the cards so any page they visit they are going to be having this notification telling them guy let's us help you with your cards now the main reason why we have this um pop-up here is for you to have their email now if i check the admin dashboard now if i reload this page if i reload this page currently uh, we don't have the user yet it's not recording the user so if the user hasn't input the email and also try to add to cart it's going to be added to cart but yet the admin still can't track that because we need the email 
we need the user's email to track it as you can see it's still not showing up okay so now let me not try to okay let me accept the offer for you guys to help me so i'll just input let uh let's help you around the class i'll just input my email so let me input a sample email grace at the layer at gmail.com okay i think we already have that in this place okay let me use a new email that is not here at all so let me use the new email that we, that we don't have currently so i'm going to use um google google at gmail.com okay as you can see we don't have google as gmail.com here so i'm going to click on done then after clicking on the done it's going to send the email directly to the um, back end and it's going to map what the user is currently doing so after the email has been sent the next thing is once the user is trying to navigate around now it just added this product to cart and it clicks on cart um, click on checkout so once you click on checkout it's going to hold up then after the page is done loading the data is going to be sent to the admin now this current page that the user is is going to be logged down here so now let me refresh this page now so once i refresh this page you're going to find it google at gmail.com um current products in cart is what sms notification so this is actually real time so the current page is after i submitted this email is check out okay now the last date is active is this current date we have here and the role is what is guest so if he has registered it's going to turn to what customer but at the moment it's still a guest okay so uh let's move on to the next one so the next thing now is to, um is to click on another product let's see how it's going to log that so I'll click on home how we had another product to cut let's see how it's going to track that don't forget this user is not registered yet is still a guest so let me add another product to cut let me add this sorry let me add this to cut and let me add this to cut okay so after adding this and this to cut so let me visit this current one okay so it says oh sorry i have a multiple product in my cart so i will add it again let me add this to cart now okay so this has been added so i have score result management system in my cart so i have two products in my cart now let me add one more let me add one more so it will be three let me go to shop let me add one more to cut. Let me add Academy Elements. Okay, that has been added to cut. So now let me view the cut. So we have three products in our cut. The quantity is one. So let me change this quantity to um, three. Update the cut. Okay. Update the cut. Then I click on proceed to checkout. So once you proceed to checkout and the user gets to this page, you know. They might feel like oh this thing is a stress i don't like entering my name and they virtually would they close the browser so if i close this browser now palm the user is gone <laughs> so that is when uh, that, that is where adding cart manager comes in so once the user closes that all the data you've already uh, we've already get everything dynamically from the background data so once they close that browser you have everything they have the currently um push to you so here now we have what they are trying to buy they're trying to buy um three products with different price and different quantity now you already track that and you check the last page they visit now this is their last page the checkout is their last page so from here now you discover that okay maybe they have an issue with the checkout so the next thing you need to do is to what, contact this email because at the moment you can only contact email so you send them a message through your mail ask them why are they not uh, able to check out blah blah but in the next version i believe there will be more upgraded that we do more amazing things but for now this is what we have and i hope this will solve your problem thank you thank you so much for um taking your time to watch this video see you in my next one bye